happy right now to be joined by the Royals general manager, senior vice president of baseball operations, Dayton Moore. This is, uh, as it was three and a half or so weeks ago, an historic day for the franchise. But, you know, managers, you hope come and go every 10 years, whatever it is, 15 years. Th this is potentially a generation. Uh, how special of a day is this? Well, it's, it's very special. It's, it's been a day that uh, we've been looking forward to ever since, you know, we... We found out that Mr. Glass and the Glass family was going to sell the team. And uh, so the, the question we would naturally ask is who and, and uh, when is it going to occur? And, and uh, we found out it was, uh, you know, John Sherman. We were very excited and um, began to working very closely together and um, found that very easily, very natural transition that uh, you know, he's aligned very similar to the way, you know, we are and what we expect out of a baseball team and, and the importance of what this baseball team means to this community, which we all know is very special. And Dave, the thing I really sensed from hearing Mr. Sherman's comments was the excitement, and not from, uh, just from you and, uh, and, and Mike Matheny, the excitement you guys have to work with him, but what he has demonstrated, both with his uh, experience in Cleveland and, and what he's going to be able to bring here to Kansas City. So I think everybody should, uh, you know, mark their calendars, spring training, not that far away now, and, you know, after Fan Fest, things will get going. I think so, Monty, and you bring up a great point, because, um, it, it, it makes a difference when you have a group of people, especially in our community, but when you have a group of people that really are, are rolling up their sleeves and working hard every single day to put a championship caliber team on the field. And as, as John mentioned and as Mike has mentioned and we've mentioned repeatedly internally is we want sustained success. I mean, we're not proud of the fact that we're going through this rebuild. now. Would we do it differently based on the circumstances that we had and, and the challenges that we had leading up to 14 and 15? No, we wouldn't have traded our players after the 15 season and, and began that rebuild right away. We wanted to push through. But I think when my higher point in all this is we have a group of people that are completely dedicated to Kansas City, as was the Glass family. But when you have a kind of a renewed effort, if you will, as we move forward together, I think there's, there's a lot of reasons for us all to be very excited about um, you know what we're going to be doing in the future and I think anytime there's change at the top there's obviously concern from everybody in the organization what direction is this going to go who's going to be on board I think all those have been satisfied I think everybody feels really comfortable moving forward yeah I think so as well and, and the one thing about our leadership team is the core group of our people have been together longer than any front office in baseball okay that being said we have added more people to our front office over the last five six years than has anybody at a higher percentage and so our front office has grown as we uh, uh, take part in the new advances in technology and performance science and behavioral science and a lot of the things that you know we've been working on to do and, and go forward together and so like I said before I mean it's it, it's a group that is very confident and uh, uh, very secure with who we are and what we're going to be doing going forward. And then to have John come alongside of us, uh, you know, with the ownership group, it just really intensifies in a more meaningful and special way. Last thing, Dayton, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. You, you said a couple answers ago, especially in Kansas City. You've lived in this community for a very long time. Uh, Monty's lived in it e even longer. You look and you see all the investors. They're all Kansas City guys. You look at what John Sherman did in the front row with his wife, Bob Kendrick from the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, Julia Irene Kaufman. How important is it in a city like this to have so much local support from an investment standpoint and an ownership standpoint? It's a competitive advantage. I mean, that's what I've been telling, you know, our, our group, you know, for the last month. We have a competitive advantage, in my opinion, because of the things that you clearly stated. And so, you know, one of the neat things about winning here in 2015, we had the opportunity to go around the country and, and talk about how we were able to do that in a small market. It was very simple. It was... The, the environment that our fans created in this community and at this ballpark is why we won. You know that. You live here. Monty's experienced that for a long time. Kansas City's different than any other place on, in, in the United States. And we're all proud to be here. Certainly a proud day for this organization, I believe, for the city, and, and a great way to, to start off Thanksgiving week. So, uh, Dayton, thanks for doing this. Congratulations, and happy Thanksgiving to you and Marianne and the kids. Uh, you too, Joel. Thank you. Okay.